Hi, I'm Rachel Barton Pine, and I play the violin. Hmm. Well, you know, when I'm explaining to people about Stradivarius and Guarneris, I always use the analogy of white wine and red wine, with red wine, of course, being the Del Jesu end of the spectrum. And I've got a 1742 Del Jesu right here. And I have to say, I love a nice full-bodied red wine. Um, but I'm also a Scottish fiddler um, on the side. Uh, and so um, I also love a nice single malt. And my very favorite single malt is Talisker from the Isle of Skye. Well, that's an easy one. Maud Powell right there, my all-time violin hero. I just totally wish that I could hang out with her. Well, actually, um, the fictional character I most want to meet is Sherlock Holmes, especially to like play a duet with him because he played the violin too and just to like talk to him. But I don't identify with him, of course. <laughs> totally different personality than me. But the fictional character that I admire and oh gosh, well, there's this awesome redheaded hero. You know, somehow the redheads in these stories are always the feisty ones, which I love. Um, it's a young adult series of novels that I discovered as a kid um, and by Tamara Pierce. And the first one in the series is called Alana. And she's a girl who dresses up as a boy so she can go off and be a knight. And she's very brave and um, just has all kinds of adventures. And um, I don't know, I just think she's awesome. And I always try to be like her. When I was a teenager doing the international competition scene, you know, it was always a question of what interpretation do I truly believe in versus what do I think the judges are looking for and trying to balance that. And my violin professor, Roland Vemos, had some wonderful advice. He said, you can achieve your dreams without compromising your integrity. And that's something I've carried with me and thought about a lot all through the years ever since, whether it's um, musical or otherwise in life. Well, I have lots and lots of favorites all over the planet and it's always hard to pick. I mean, how do you choose between the landscape of New Zealand or walking down the streets of Salzburg and imagining, you know, what it looked like when Mozart walked down those same streets, which it still does. But actually, I'm a very patriotic Chicagoan. Um, you know, I've lived here my whole life and every time I fly home from wherever I had a concert that week, I see the skyline in the distance, it just still takes my breath away. And um, I'm really happy to travel to a different city or country every week and have that variety in life. It's a fantastic adventure, especially since I can always take my family with me. But coming home to Chicago, it's like, this is my favorite place on earth right here. Mm -hmm.